right, Marvin. All right, buddy. It's been a little while. You've been on a mini vacation, but come on, let's put put the thing on the table. Let's go. Thank you, Marvin. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Spina Dude here, back for another review. And today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at this. It is the brand new 2019 PNSO Carlos the Concavenator, one of their new minifigures that just came out. I got this on Amazon.com uh, alongside the Tianyu Long, which will be coming up for review very soon as well. But before we jump in and take this little dude out of its packaging, here are a few quick little facts about Concavenator itself. This animal's full name is Concavenator Corcovatus. Concavenator itself means humped backed hunter from Cuenca. It was a Carcharodontosaurid theropod from the Cretaceous period of what is now Spain. Now, Concavenator is a very interesting theropod because its forearms have what appear to be fossilized quill knobs that have been found in the bone. So Concavenator may have had some kind of sparse proto-feathers on its lower arms and potentially on other parts of the body as well. Also, Concavenator had a very interesting protrusion above its hips that is caused by the extension of two of its vertebrae. It is thought that these vertebrae would have supported either a hump or a sail-like structure, and there are some theories circulating as to what this could have been used for, but no one is exactly sure. But anyway, there's a few quick little facts about Concavenator itself. Now, why don't we zoom in quick and just take a look at the packaging here. Uh, because I got this directly from PNSO shop on Amazon, the entire packaging is in, uh, in Chinese, so I can't read most of it, but you can just see PNSO, uh, Prehistoric Animal Toys, number 29, small model series, Carlos the Concavenator, and uh, you can see him in the packaging there. I really like the background picture. Uh, I don't think that's part of the poster. There is a poster inside here as well, but I'm interested in seeing what that looks like. Um, but you can see really nice like mountain range with a forest and a little lake and stuff, so it, it kind of like sets the tone for the animal in the wild, which is cool. And then there's just a bunch of Chinese writing on the back. But uh, that's, that's it for the packaging, but why don't we go ahead and try to break this open here. Um, is there a way to do this without having to cut it? I'm probably gonna have to cut it, aren't I? Yeah, I, have, I think I'm gonna have to cut this across the top here. There we go. Alrighty. Can I just rip the sides down now? Yes, I can. Alrighty. See, oh, I did cut the poster a little bit. Oh, it is part of, it's part of this. Okay, I see. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I liked when it was like a separate thing, but the art is very different from the actual concavenator figurine. Uh, very different coloration, but very, it, it, that looks pretty cool, I gotta say. Uh, and in the bottom it says, Carlos the concavenator, length 6 meters, diet carnivorous, lived in the Cretaceous fossil found in Spain and Europe. So that's cool. Um, I guess be careful if you get these and you're trying to um, cut it open because yeah, you're gonna damage the poster, and there's no other way to open this packaging these are in, unfortunately. But let's get Carlos out here into the open. Eh, pull you down. There you are, Carlos. Let's zoom in on you there, buddy. Look at him! He is adorable, and I, uh, I know he's already named, is, is it in focus? Yeah, it's in focus, okay. Um, I know that this figure is already named Carlos the Concavenator, but I'd actually like to nickname this one Bumblebee, uh, for obvious reasons, because the coloration is very reminiscent of a, uh, a Bumblebee, or a yellow jacket, or something. But this is a cute little figurine, very nice feathering detail throughout the body. You can see like the long quills or um, the proto feathers on the forearms there. I like the tuft of feathers on the uh, tip of the tail. And of course there's the signature hump that Concavenator uh, has on its back. The little claws uh, on the hands. The base is very nicely done. It's just white on the bottom. Um, does it say anything on the bottom? I'm trying to read it. Oh, it says um, PNSO. And this was made in 2016, funny enough, but it would just, they were uh, just released recently. That is interesting, very interesting indeed. Um, the head is very nice, has a Carcharodontosaurid shape. A little bit of shrink wrapping on the face, I have to say. It's not horrible, but it could be better. 
Uh, the base is pretty nice, actually. Really nice wash and dry brushing going over. It looks like real rocks and everything. But yeah, that's Carlos the Concavenator. That is a really cute figure. But let's get a little bit of a comparison going here. I'm gonna tilt the camera down. And here is Carlos the Concavenator with the PNSO Nada the Baby Spinosaurus. Uh, a lot of people tend to have Nada the Baby Spinosaurus and the Baby T-Rex, for example, which we actually have yet to review. I have two of those coming up for review on the channel. And you can see that they are very, very similarly sized. Uh, one thing I'm noticing, actually, though, with Carlos is right out of the packaging, he's starting to droop a little bit, which is kind of unfortunate because of how bendy the legs are. So I can see that being a problem over time. I might have to prop him up on a paper clip or something, but... Uh, yeah, the coloration is great on this little guy. It definitely stands out in comparison to the old PNSO figures. And uh, while we're at it, let's actually get a measurement of this figurine. All right, so Marvin, why don't you bring out the flexi ruler? Thank you, Marvin. All right, we've got our trusty flexi ruler here, so let's give this concavenator a measure. So in terms of the length from the tip of the snout to the tip of the tail, we are looking at about three and three quarter inches, which is about nine centimeters. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the tail there, we are looking at about two inches, which is about five centimeters. Well, anyway, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's review. I think this little figure is, it's pretty nice. I really like the coloration. I think that's the absolute best part. The sculpt is really nice as well, but I am already seeing a warping issue because of how bendy this little figure is. But for about $7 and you get a pretty cool poster and packaging with it and stuff, I think it's worth it overall. Uh, maybe try to prop it up on something so the legs don't warp as much when you get it. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for today's review, guys. If you want to get this one, check out PNSO Shop on Amazon. You can get these plus many more of the minis. The new Tian Yu Long will be coming up for review very soon, so stay tuned for that. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a comment telling me what you think of this brand new concavenator figure. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And as always, I will see you in my next video. So take care and bye-bye. <laughs>